Okay, so we're back, and I just wanted to go ahead and show you uh, sort of my stopping point for the texture. As you can see, I did divert a bit from uh, the reference, and I was just basically using the reference as uh, a building block um, for the model, and I can show you uh, the, some of the, sort of the inspiration for my texture came when I was walking around Publix and I saw this. Okay, so I said, gee, that's a good simple motif to play around with. So here is our result, which is in itself uh, a departure from toy, but uh, I wanted it to be very toy and kid-like. So I made uh, sort of a checkerboard pattern, uh, some racing stripes, got the old FIA bumper uh, license plate, rather. And you can see I've kind of cleaned it up so that uh, I've got multiple color layers. If I choose to, I could have uh, pink, purple, and blue, and gray, and that's just by uh, having all the black stuff uh, and gray stuff on the top level so I can hide it. And I've also added an inner shadow to sort of thicken up and, uh, and, and accent our um, outlines. And then I've got the uh, items that are, I don't want to do anything to in their own folder here. So if we go back into Maya, and you can see that we now have, uh, this is the gray version, but I could go in and grab you know the blue version, and I could go in and grab my yellow version. So um, it's a good way to think about uh, repeating patterns um, and not having to redo the work. Um, there's still some things I would probably come in and spend some time fixing sort of the where the seams occur, you know, like there's some hard uh, act seam action. But uh, Overall, I'm happy enough if, if you guys can come up with something similar to this um, for your projects. Um, we did go over our poly budget, which I could, I could address by removing some of the triangles or the uh, collapsing and making these in triangles. Uh, but I, you know, 31 hundred is not much more than three thousand and so we're uh, at a point where we could go ahead and move on to some of the other topics uh, where we're going to talk about uh, lighting and rendering and then I'm going to talk briefly about uh, setting up uh, an animation uh, probably just translate the car and rotate the wheels, and then we can export that as our final step into uh, Unity. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video.